Yes. <laughs> you know, there's this this idea of charging a person with a tort. Yes. The tort of conversion. Poop. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, there's a book in the Bible uh, that's called the Song of Solomon. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there was a time when I was concerned about my marriage. Yeah. And we were living in Vancouver. <laughs> And um, it's not that we weren't getting along. We just didn't have the intimacy of marriage that I wanted. And one morning I said, Heidi, let's sit down and read the Song of Solomon together. Yes. Because I wanted to be married for for our whole life. Yeah. Now, um, during that morning, yes, we took turns reading the Song of Solomon. Do you remember that? <laughs> See, the whole... Uh, problem was we were going through a credit crisis and I was having some difficulty in business. Yeah. And when we first got together, I was doing very well. And then all of these problems started happening and I realized the importance of business and the importance of family and why it is that we need to keep that, that intimacy together. <laughs> now in this song of Solomon, there's this individual. Yes. That's very much in love. <coughs> And a lot of times in relationships, when you don't know what to do, it's kind of a, a fun, intimate experience to read the different parts of the book of Song of Solomon. Yes. Now, uh, the Song of Songs, yes, which is Solomon's. <laughs> Let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth, for thy love is better than wine. Oh. Because of the savor of thy good ointments, thy name is as ointment poured forth. <laughs> Therefore do we virgins love thee. <laughs> Draw me, we will run after thee. The king hath brought me into his chambers. <laughs> we will be glad and rejoice in thee. <laughs> we will remember thy love more than wine. The upright love thee. <laughs> now, uh, in verse 5, yes, I am black. But comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. Yes. Look not upon me, because I am black, because the sun hath looked upon me. My mother's children, yes, 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 were angry with me. They made me the keeper of the vineyards, but my own vineyard have I not kept. Ouch. Tell me, oh, oh thou whom thy my soul loveth, yes, yes. where thou feedest, where thou makest thy flock to rest at noon. <laughs> For why should I be as one that turneth aside by the flocks of thy companions? <laughs> if thou know not, O oh, thou fairest among women, <laughs> go thy way forth by the footsteps of the flock and feed thy kids beside the shepherd's tents. <laughs> I have compared thee, O oh, my love, to a company of horses and Pharaoh's chariots. <laughs> thy cheeks are comely. Oh, oh. Thy cheeks, yes, mm -hmm. uh, with rows of jewels, <laughs> thy neck with chains of gold. <laughs> we will make thee borders of gold with studs of silver. <laughs> While the king sitteth at his table, my Spikenard uh, sendeth forth the smell thereof. <laughs> a bundle of myrrh is my well-beloved unto me. <laughs> he shall lie at night betwixt my breast. <laughs> my beloved is unto me as the cluster of camphire <laughs> in the vineyards of Engadai. <laughs> Behold, thou art fair, <laughs> my love. Behold, <laughs> thou art fair. <laughs> Thou hast dove's eyes. Behold, thou art fair, beloved. Yea, pleasant, thou so art. <laughs>